What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Team Affinity Season 3 cards. We're going to see if they're really good, really, really bad, overhyped, all that good stuff. So without further ado, uh, please consider subscribing, like this video for more, click that notification bell if you enjoy the content, and yeah, let's just hop right into it. Alright, so starting off here with Cedric Mullins, I've used him a little bit if you saw the stream yesterday. Uh, he's alright, he's alright, uh, 121 contact. Uh, 13 contact, uh, 99 power versus right, 88 power versus left. Good vision, so you should have a decently sized PCI when uh, you're playing online. Solid card, 84 speed. You can play left field, right field, and center field. This is main left-handed bat. I think this is a solid card, good card. Uh, I definitely recommend getting him. Uh, next up, Raphael Devers, aka Ninja Turtle, as I call him, because of his name and because he kind of looks like a Ninja Turtle. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I don't like red, the Red Sox. So, uh, you know, obviously, I'm going to try to not be biased. But it's got 112 contact versus right, 89 versus left, 125 power versus right, only 78 versus left, uh, 83 vision, not terrible. But uh, 63 speed, not terrible. He can play third base and first. Uh, definitely not as good as the Mullins card, I don't think. But I don't know. That it could just be a little bit of the bias coming in there, but I don't know. But yeah, he's not he's not terrible though. Still a solid card. Alright, we got Aaron Judge. 89 contact versus right, 113 versus lefties. 103 power versus right, 124 versus left. Uh, definitely gonna mash against the uh, left-handed pitching. But uh, only 60 speed. I mean that's mediocre, it's decent, not terrible. Very low steal, so you're not gonna steal with them really at all. Especially against all the good catchers in this game. And he can play anywhere in the outfield. But I mean, I don't know. I feel like since he's so tall and such a big strike zone, I feel like you're going to have to be really, really good to hit with him. Which I think that's why I'm going to struggle to hit with him. Because I struggle with PCI placement and with a bigger strike zone. And that's more placed and more ground you got to cover with the PCI. So I think I'll struggle with him a little bit. But, uh. It just might take some uh, getting used to playing with Aaron Judge, but good stats all around. Uh, Teoscar Hernandez of the Toronto Blue Jays came out of nowhere this year. Uh, he plays everywhere in the outfield. 102 contact versus righties, 120 contact versus lefties. Uh, 79 power versus righties, 125 power versus lefties. Same thing as Judge, he's going to mash against left-handed pitching. 81 vision 2 to go along with it, plus 81 speed, which could uh, prove to be crucial. Only 33 stealing, though, so might have trouble stealing with him, probably. But, yeah, I think it's I think it's more like a, it's a better judge card, pretty much, just with a little less power and more a little more contact, too. So, yeah, definitely, I would pick Teoscar. I'd put him in the lineup over judge. Good card, good card. Wrapping up the A, at least we got Mike Zunino. Nah, this card isn't it. I'm sorry. This card is it, it's not it. Cause you're gonna face a lot of right-handed pitching and only 45 contact. That's that's not good. And you know 118 contact versus lefties. And despite the power, I just don't think it's worth it. Only 48 vision, and 38 speed. I I just don't think he's worth it. And so uh, uh, yeah, he's not starting. He's not gonna be my starting catcher at least. Kicking off the AL Central here, we got Jose Ramirez, 80 contact versus right-handed pitching, 103 contact versus left, uh, 125 power versus righties, 73 contact versus lefties. Switch hitter, I think he's definitely very valuable. He can play a lot of he can play a lot of positions, third base, first base, second base, short and left field. So you know, very uh, you can use you can use utilize him English. You can utilize him in many ways. So, uh, yeah, I think this is a very valuable card that uh, you can fill some holes on your team. All right, first pitcher we're looking at here, Carlos Rodon, Rodon, whatever his name is. Lefty pitcher, throws a four-seam slider, change-up curveball, and two-seam. I like those pitches. You know, you can work the slider and the fastball combo. I like it a lot. 101 stamina. This uh, good stats all around, 96 breaking. Uh, he's pumping 98 on the gun for his four seams, so, you know, not the fastest, but very effective. 
good card. Next up, we got Salvador Perez. Uh, contact versus right, 93. Contact versus left, 125. Power versus right, 90. Power versus left, 125 with 82 vision. So a decent PCI size. 38 speed, you know, catchers, not fast. Catcher, but he can also play first base, which uh, is, can also be a very good thing. Definitely a good option for uh, your starting catcher. All right, next up, we got Nelson Cruz. He can play right field and left field, but he can't play center field. He'd be out of position there. 89 contact versus righties. 125 contact versus lefties. 121 power versus righties. 114 power versus lefties. He's going to mash left-handed pitching, like I was saying earlier, with Judge and uh, uh, Teoscar. 95 vision. Only 40 speed, though, which that's that's kind of rough for just a, just an outfielder. So, I mean, you would only have him in there for the hitting. As you can see, their defense is only a bronze. But with those stats, I think it'd, it'd be uh, well worth it to put him in the outfield, honestly. All right, we got a relieving pitcher here, Gregory Soto, for the Detroit Tigers. He throws a sinker, a slider, a four-seam, and a changeup. Very fast sinker, pumping 95 on the gun. 98 on the gun for the four-seam fastball. 88 mile an hour changeup, 88 mile an hour slider. So a good pitch combination. I like it. I like it. Obviously not that high stamina because he's a relieving pitcher. Uh, 94 break, so he's throwing it really fast, and he's it's going to get a lot of movement. 99 velocity, 60 control. You know, it's all right, but very solid card, and I I I'm going to be scared of seeing this card late in the game. To wrap up the American League, we got the AL West now, starting off with Matt Olson. 91 contact versus righties, 96 contact versus lefties, 104 power versus righties, 114 power versus lefties with 91 vision, 33 speed. He plays first base and right field, so I wouldn't plug him in the outfield. I would try to keep him at first, but you know, solid hitting stats. I think it's going to be a decent card. Next up, we got Aroldis Garcia for Texas. 100 contact versus right. 90 contact versus left. 120 power versus righties. And 113 power versus lefties with 68 vision. So the PCI is probably going to be a little smaller. But 86 speed with 56 steel. Yeah, you can't go wrong there. He's going to be swiping a few bases. He's not going to be a, a Byron Buxton or anything like that. But that's solid. Definitely solid. Uh, especially good speed for the outfield and cover a lot of ground. I think this is going to be a really good card and really going to help out defensively as well. Next up, we got a breakout player this year, Jared Walsh, who it says you can also put at relieving pitcher, and I think that's also the case with the Cronenworth of seeing the, the the Padres there. You can put him at first base, relieving pitcher, left field, and right field. 125 contact versus right, only 52 contact versus lefties. 120 power versus righties and 97 power versus lefties. You know, that's kind of, I don't know about that. The, there's many, many better cards in the game. It's like left-handed hitters that hit better against lefties. So, I mean, I don't know. I feel like definitely he's going to mash against righties. But, you know, if there's a lefty in the lineup and you have him, you know, hitting third or fourth or whatever, or top five, you may be in some trouble if you're facing a lefty. We'll go on to Michael Brantley of the Trash Rose. 125 contact right, 120 or sorry, 125 contact right, 106 contact left, 83 power and 70 power. Uh, it doesn't look like he's going to be hitting a lot of home runs. Maybe I mean, yeah, there's just many more cards with more power than that. 124 vision, though. He's going to have a big PCI, so that could be helpful for a lot of people. But, once again, only 44 speed, and he's just an outfielder. I just I just, I don't think that's going to be a great card. I, I don't. He's, I feel like he's going to be poor defensively because he can't cover that much ground. And, yeah, he's going to be a solid base hit hitter, but I feel like that's about it. All right, cap off the American League. Yeah, I can't pronounce his name. I'm going to butcher it. Yusei Kikuchi, I think, having a solid year. He has a cutter, a four-seam fastball, a slider, and a changeup. I like those pitches. Uh, 96 four-seam fastball, 92 cutter. 
He's got 109 stamina, so he can go a long way. He's got 98 braking, 81 velocity, and 86 control. Solid card. I think he's going to be a scary pitcher, definitely. Scary uh, left-handed pitcher. Well, here he is, starting off the National League with a bang. 99 overall, Jacob deGrom. This card is scary. 108 stamina. 99 braking, 99 velocity, 90 control, 4 seam fastball, 99 miles an hour, I'm sure it goes higher than that, 92 mile an hour slider, that's ridiculous, 88 changeup, 82 curveball, 97 2 seam fastball, see, I kind of feel bad for the people who bought the live series to Grom, because I think this card is much better. And they could have saved so much more. Like so many more stubs. They could have just you know, do Team Affinity and get this card for free. This card is, is, is incredible. It's Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Plus he's got great hitting stats. For a pitcher at least. 63 contact versus right. 72 contact versus left. 53 power and 43 power. With 61 vision, he can't go wrong with this card. He can he can do almost everything. Another very good card right here. This is this is gonna <laughs> this card is gonna impact so many games. Once he's on the base sets, he's gonna be deadly. Trey Turner, shortstop. He can play second, third, and center field. 110 contact versus righties. 125 contact versus lefties. 99 power and 85 power. <laughs> this card is insane 99 speed 92 steel he's gonna be able to bunt for base hits his bunt is only 48 drag bunt is only 48 but still he's got a decent arm for uh, third base and shortstop uh, 73 arm and uh, 70 accuracy still this card this card is crazy next up we got Ozzy Albies uh, second base and shortstop 79 contact versus right, you know, it's a little low. Uh, 125 contact versus left. Switch hitter, so, you know, that's understandable, I guess. He's going to be dominant on the left-handed side. But, I mean, yeah, definitely the righty. You're not, you're not going to see him on the right-handed uh, batter's box as much as left, so I guess that makes sense. But, yeah, he's going to be scary against right-handed pitching. Definitely 120, uh, 125 contact and the 120 power. With 100 vision and good speed too, 73 speed, 62 steel, definitely could swipe some bags, definitely. JT Real Muto up, catcher and first baseman, if you want to put him there. 100 contact versus righties, 86 contact versus lefties, 101 power versus righties, and 70 versus lefties. That's kind of strange. He's a uh, better hitting against righties than he is lefties. You don't see that too often. He's got an 85 vision, solid, and very good defense. As you can see, diamond defense there, 80 fielding, 90 arm. He's going to be gunning people out. 89 accuracy, 82 reaction, and 89 blocking with 74 speed as a catcher. That's huge. This is a pretty damn good card. Pretty good all, all around, all around. Very good card. All right, for the Marlins, we got Trevor Rogers. 97 overall, he throws a four-seamer, change-up slider, and two-seam. I feel like it's a very basic combination of pitches, but, you know, 95 on the gun on the four-seam, uh, 94 on the two-seam, 103 stamina is pretty good, 99 braking, 83 velocity, 77 control. I just feel like, you know, uh, I, don't, I don't feel like he's going to be that great. He's just very basic, you know. Uh, I don't know. I just don't see this card being all that great compared to some of the other ones I've seen. Yeah, I don't know. All right, we got the first closer up here, NL Central of the Cubs. We got Craig Kimbrell. Throws a four seam knuckle curve, two seam. Okay, only three pitches, but it's all right. Uh, it's a unique combination for sure. Uh, 97 four seam fastball, 85 knuckle curve, and a 96. Two seam fastball. 
You know, very low stamina because of the closer. Uh, 99 break, 94 velocity, and 83 control. I like this card. I like this card. Definitely going to be scary coming out of the bullpen. Next up, we got a closer, another closer, Josh Hader. Four pitches. Got the four seam slider changeup and two seam fastball. Throws left handed. Uh, he's pumping 96 on the gun for the four seamers, 83 for slider, 86 changeup, and 94 two seamer. Not bad. Uh, 99 break, 82 velocity, and 72 control. Yeah, I feel like mm, I kind of think the Kimbrel is a little better just because, I don't know, he has a more unique pitch combination. But let me know what you think in the comments. We've got Nick Castellanos here, 98 overall right fielder. He can play first, third, and left also. 125 contact versus righties, 124 contact versus lefties. 99 power, 111 power versus lefties. Uh, 91 vision. He's got 66 speed, which... Uh, that's that's good enough for the outfield, I think, definitely, if he's going to play right field and uh, left field. So, yeah, I, I, I could see people. I would put him in the outfield at least. So, the solid card. Can definitely uh, go yard. Can also just hit for base hits. I think this is going to be a very good card. Next up, we got another closing pitcher, Alex Reyes. He's got five pitches, four-seamer sinker slider, 12-6, and a changeup. Uh, 97 mile an hour four seamer, 95 sinker, 86 slider, 79 12 6 curve, and an 88 changeup. He's got a little bit more stamina than the other closers, so you know, you could probably go three innings and be alright. Mm, that might be a stretch, but he definitely go longer than most closers. Uh, let's see, he's got 71 control, it's a little iffy, it's alright. Uh, 99 velocity, 99 break. Good card. Uh, lots of pitches to go to. I like that. Lots of movement. Fast sinker. Very tough pitch to hit. Very good card. I feel like this card will be very valuable. Just because of how many different positions you can play. Second base, third base, short, left field, and all the outfield. All the outfield. It's got 125 contact versus righties, 111 versus contact lefties. But the problem is the power. That's the only reason why I, I probably wouldn't put him in my lineup. It's just not a lot of power, no pop. 54 power versus righties, 82 versus lefties. I don't know. He's got 119 vision. The PCI is going to be a good size, but you're going to have to get a lot of perfect perfects if you want to hit a home run with Adam Frazier, I feel. Only 56 speed, you know. I feel like that's decent for outfield. Not center field, but left field, right field. I'd put him there. Decent arm, too. Really good arm. 79, 97 accuracy, 98 reaction. Very good fielder. So if you're going to put him in your lineup, you're probably going to want to put him about 8th, 7th or 8th. But, uh, yeah, he's not going to make a lot of errors. All right, starting the final division, the NL West, we got Kevin Gosman. Five pitches, four seamer splitter, slider, changeup, and curveball. 96 mile an hour, four seamer, 83 splitter, 82 slider, 84 changeup, and 79 curveball. He's got 111 stamina. I believe that's the highest out of all of them I've seen so far. Even higher than DeGrom, I believe. He has 93 break. Not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, 81 velocity and 79 control. This card is very good. Very, very good. Very good pitch selection. He's throwing pretty hard. And uh, the mile an hour difference from uh, the fastball to the changeup is going to be very effective. And it's definitely going to get people, and it's definitely going to get batters looking silly. No doubt in my mind. Now, here we go. This is the Jake Cronin with I was talking about earlier. Second baseman, but you can put him in at a reliever, first base, third base, and shortstop. Hitting stats are alright, 106 contact versus righties, 100 contact versus lefties, 97 power versus righties, and 76 versus lefties, so yeah, I'd keep them in the, the bottom half of your lineup for sure, just in case there's a lefty, because he's not going to have too much pop versus lefties, I mean, it's a solid amount, it's mediocre, it's alright, 110 vision though, so, you know, he's going to be seeing the ball well, 83 speed too, which that's huge. It's too bad you can't put him in the outfield. You know, that speed's doing him a whole lot of nothing in the field, but 
once he gets on the base paths, it's going to make a big difference in ball games, I feel. You know, probably not going to be swiping too many bags, but, you know, hit and runs, all that type of good stuff, small ball. I think he's going to be a good card. Next up, we got Eduardo Escobar, who can play anywhere on the diamond, except for a catcher, third base, first base, second base, shortstop, left field, right field, and except for center field. Hitting stats are, they're all right. Not the craziest. 88 contact versus right, 91 contact versus lefties, 108 power righty, and uh, 111 power versus lefties. 91 vision, not bad. 69 speed. This is all right. Yeah, I could definitely see why they didn't give him the center field. Uh, I wouldn't want a 69 speed dude in my center field. It's just not fast enough for center field. you got to cover the most ground there. But yeah, this is an all right card. You know, it's not going to break the game or anything, but definitely a solid piece to a team. Solid. Very solid card. All right, we got another utility man here, Chris Taylor. Can play another and again another card that can play in a lot of different positions: center field, second base, third base, shortstop, left field, and right field. 90 contact versus righties, 118 contact versus lefties. Power versus righties this is slacking a little bit. 86, it's not terrible, but you know, a little bit more pop would be nice. 100 power versus lefties, pretty good. 79 vision, that's kind of low a little bit, I feel, compared to some of the other cards we've seen. But uh, that's all right. I feel like he makes up for it with all the different positions he plays. Uh, 78 speed, 54 steel, not bad. Like you know, like before, uh, he's no Byron Buxton, but you know you could get away with stealing with him for sure. Solid card. All right, and to cap it off, we have Herman Marquez. I think that's how you say his name. He throws a four seamer, slider, knuckle curve, sinker, and a changeup. 97 on the gun for the four seam fastball. 86 slider, 85 knuckle curve, that's pretty fast. 95 sinker, and 86 changeup. 106 stamina, 92 break, 96 velocity, and 82 control. This is a very, 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 very good card. Because, you know, you got the fastball and the sinker, you could work those two together. The slider and the knuckle curve, very fast, especially the knuckle curve. And there's an 11 mile an hour difference between the fastball and the changeup. Very, very, very good card. Alright, well thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, smack that like button. Consider subscribing. Uh, yeah, I, if I were to put like all the players on a scale of 1 to 10, just, uh, just all together as a bunch, I'd give it a solid 8. Because, you know, there's some of them that aren't really worth it, but there's a lot of them that are really going to, really going to give you a hard time online, like that Jake DeGrom. I hope I don't have to face him ever. That's going to be tough. But yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a good day.